Hey, how's it going everybody? Just wanted to take a little video here uh, to show you how you can perform some of your own maintenance, maybe even save some money. This video is going to go over what you can do uh, for your monthly maintenance and also every six months and possibly even a year. So a lot of you had posted issues with the HVAC units turning off, thermostats not responding, or I mean just off, there's no power to it. And the reason for that is because your drain pan is probably full along with the drip, <laughs> drip line that goes out to the outside of the house. Uh, which gets clogged from time to time, which is why you have to do the maintenance every six months to clean that pipe out. So uh, first thing we're going to do is go over to the float switch, which is probably uh, the first thing that you need to check if this thermostat is ever off. So we are over here at the air handler, which is uh, in the garage. Um, I know there's a lot of different models here in this neighborhood, but they should all look fairly similar. So what we have here is a drain pipe, this drain pipe, which I will, I will open this panel in the front so you can see but the drain pipe goes into this unit here and it's natural for the coils to produce condensation which goes in the drain pan which goes well it should be going this direction here outside of the house this is what you see but when it gets backed up it overfill overfills and goes down this pipe and it goes to your float switch so this is the float switch um, for those of you who don't know the, the purpose of the float switch is to protect the system from flooding and so without this switch, um, what's going to happen is the drain pan's going to fill and it's going to keep filling. Your AC will keep running and then you'll end up with a flood. You know, if it's in the garage here, you know, that's, that's one thing. But for those of you that have a two story, um, you're going to, you're going to have some issues and you might not know it until the drywall is damaged. So, uh, moving on. So this is the float switch. Um, you'll notice that when you pull this up, there's this little black piece right here. It slides up and down. Um, the purpose or the goal here is to keep this uh, this float switch in the, the position where it's down, which completes the circuit of these two wires here that goes up into the air handler. So uh, when it gets full, if you visually inspect on here, it's dry. But when it gets full, this piece right here becomes buoyant and floats to the top and breaks the circuit of these two wires and turns off your thermostat, which in turn turns off the whole AC unit. Um, so this is the first thing to check and this is your float switch. So I will go ahead and put this back in here uh, One thing to note while we're here as you notice this might be a little aggressive, but This pipe that's coming out of the air handler should have a, a downward slope so that if it does get full um, There's no resistance. It'll just by gravity feed into this area right here and trip the switch So as a part of the maintenance, uh, you may hear some people doing it every month. Maybe every couple months uh, We pour vinegar down here, right? You can take a cup of vinegar maybe two cups Pour it down there, which should go out to the drip line on the side of the house, and then let it sit for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes or so, and then pour hot water to follow. Now, that is good for maintenance, but it does not prevent um, buildup inside the line, which is what a lot of the HVAC companies will come out and do is clean that for you. But I will show you how to do that uh, right now. So, like you see, this everybody should have this little cap or something similar to that. You just pull it off, and then again, visual inspection here, everything's clean. Uh, if it's full, chances are this pipe is going to be full and your AC is not working, which is what this video is going to help you with. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back on here, um, assuming that we've done our, our monthly, right? So now let's just say every six months, we're going to go ahead and clean out the drip line and make sure that there's no issues. So we're outside here. I only have the one air handler. And so it's just one pipe. Some of you have two. And so the thing is, this, this nasty stuff you see here, it's pretty gross, right? Well, that's the same stuff that builds up inside of the pipe. So all you have to do is, um, as I said, every six months or so I do it. I mean, if you want to do it every month, you can do that too. There's no, no harm in that. Uh, but get a shop vac. Um, shop vac has, you know, just a basic hose attachment. There's actually no attachment on this. And literally just put it up to here. You can tape around it if you want, but this does produce enough suction. It doesn't have to fit over. It doesn't have to slide inside. You can just put your hand over it. And then as it's going, you can kind of go like this and visually see some of the stuff coming out. But, but do that for, you know, a few minutes um, until you, you stop hearing the little chunks fly out. You're going to hear that initially, but uh, it should get to the point where no matter how long you've held it on here, it's just it's just air, maybe a couple little drops here and there. But you'll start to hear um, you'll start to hear how, how clear the pipe is versus when you first started with all the gunk coming out. And this is the stuff, like I said, that builds up in there that starts to create a clog. And so vinegar is good. It's good daily or good monthly maintenance. Um, but you'll want to come out here and use a 
shop vac to actually suck all this stuff out. Okay, so now we have gotten to the point where we've done our main monthly maintenance. We've now sucked uh, all the stuff out of the pipe every six months. We're going to go ahead and remove this access panel right here, which is going to expose the coils in the drain pan. Um, up here, this panel right here, we're not going to go into right now. Um, there is one, two, three, four screws. Should be an eight millimeter. That is for the actual fan um, and some of the electronics that are up top. But for this video and maintenance, we are going to go into this panel. So let's go ahead and start removing these screws. So for this unit, we uh, have removed all six screws. Like I said, it's eight millimeter. And now let's go ahead and pull this panel off. Should just pull right off. It's just me, so I have to use one hand here. Um, shouldn't be much resistance. Set that down. Okay. So what we're looking at here, uh, these are the coils. And this is what they mentioned. Uh, the coils are dirty. Um, you may notice that they have pulled the panel off. Um, and spread solution on here to get any kind of ice and dirt off of it. So if we look here in visual inspection, uh, we can see that the coils are pretty clean. I don't, there's no icing on it. Um, all the lines are clean. You know, there's, oops, there's some basic condensation, which is good. So the condensation is normal and that's, this is where it's coming from. For those of you who haven't seen it. So after visual inspection, we see that the coils are clean. Oh, there's no gunk on there. Nothing's getting frozen up. Um, I will say that if you do access this panel and you see that you're starting to get some frost on there and a buildup of ice like we all see in maybe a freezer, uh, that may be where um, you want to let this thing uh, defrost, um, put the panel back on, let it rock and roll. Um, but if it comes back, that's where you might have to have an HVAC company come out, uh, check the pressure, maybe, you know, maybe check other components of this. So as mentioned, this is the drip pan I keep talking about. Drain pan, drip pan. Um, this pipe right here that goes to the float switch. Um, the other side of that pipe is obviously behind um, this metal panel right here. Um, so it's designed that in a way where if this overfill, overfills, um, it will drain into that pipe going out, right? But if that pipe is clogged, then it backs up into this pipe, which is what's gonna trip the float switch. So we also want to make sure as part of our six month maintenance that we come in here uh, after we've used the shop vac outside is go through and just suck all the water out of here. Make sure everything's clean. Like I said, get a visual inspection and, and remove any dirt or debris that may have gotten in here. Um, but yeah, just remove all the water till the drain pan is 100% clear so you know you have a good starting point. So now that we've checked all that and everything looks good, we've removed all the water. Uh, the suction is done from the outside. All the gunk is clear. Uh, obviously, the last thing we'll do is just kind of look in here, check the last install date of your filter, make sure you change it. Um, I usually try to do it um, once a month, once every couple months or so. Um, I think they say three, but it really just depends on the filter that you get. Um, but for this one, I, I try to do it once a month, month and a half or so. Uh, I forgot to mention one other thing. As we're doing you know, the visual inspection, um, you're going to see condensation. But one thing to look for is just, just do a visual inspection um, on all the lines, just make sure there's no cracks, things that are leaking that uh, that don't look normal. Like I said, just um, it's good to maybe get some things dried up in here. You can use a shop vac, a towel, you know, make sure everything's dry. And then just inspect for any leaks on these lines right here. Um, a lot of this stuff, like you said, or like I said, you know, has to do with the pressure in the lines. And that stuff can be tested um, at the condenser outside. And that's what they're looking for to make sure that there's uh, enough charge in there. And that's where this goes into the attic and then out to the back so we're going to go ahead and reinstall this front panel here uh, get it all closed up and that should conclude uh, this part of that all right we got our access panel back on there uh, all screws are tightened down um, let's go ahead and check the thermostat so we come back over here we see that this is on um, i didn't trip it to turn it off but this thing should boot back up uh, whether it's a nest or this core but uh, i will go ahead and Switch the mode back to cool and we'll be on our way. So hope this video was helpful. Like I said, may save you a little money from here, here and there. And, uh, and it also gives you a chance to learn about, you know, what they're doing 
uh, when HVAC company comes out. So again, hope this was useful and you guys use this anytime you, uh, you have issues with your HVAC system.